All right, so this is going to make some of y'all vegans mad. Might even make some of you Puerto Ricans mad. I don't know. I'm using minute rice, okay? I, I just, I don't have time. I'm busy. It's not even, is it in focus? Hold on, don't look at me. That's what we're using. We're boiling in the bag. Calm down in the comments. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel, That Chocolate Bean, with me, Erin Wells. And you read that title correctly. Today, we're making Puerto Rican rice and peas and coquito. Let's get started. We're going to start off by putting some oil in your pan, oil of your choice. Obviously, I'm using avocado oil. Now, I'm going to put in a half a cup of white onions, half a cup of red bell peppers, half a cup of green bell peppers. Now, I'm going to use these bee leaf bacon. This is my favorite. I'm using about one, two, three, four. I believe that is five strips of bacon. And I got this recipe idea when I saw it from Guy Fiera. So, this is loosely the recipe right here that I use. I pretty much followed it to a T. Um, I do believe only thing I got like added a half a cup instead of a fourth a cup of the bell peppers But basically y'all this is the recipe I use now We're gonna put in a splash of coconut aminos and some liquid smoke to enhance the bacony flavor from the vegan bacon since we're not using real bacon Mix 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 that all in it already smelled amazing y'all now I did use some minute rice as y'all saw from the intro. It is what it is I'm using three cups of this minute rice loosely measured, but you see it now we're gonna mix that on in again. I'm using some fire roasted diced tomatoes. Everything I'm using y'all can be found at Walmart except for the bacon. I did go to a farmer's market for that. Now I'm gonna use some of Chef Joyous Just Magic Season. This is pretty much an all purpose seasoning y'all. So use your favorite um, seasoning or you just use salt. I'm just enhancing the flavor of what we're already doing, okay? Mix, mix, mix again. Now, instead of using regular tomato sauce, I learned my lesson. I'm gonna use a sofrito base from Walmart. This is about a fourth of a cup that I'm adding to our mixture. Again, you can use tomato sauce, y'all. I just got traumatized from the last video, um, but I'm trying to do it right, okay? Now, time for the pigeon peas of the recipe. I'm pouring in a frozen bag right on into um, our mixture. This is also from Walmart. Now, I've seen some people boil them ahead of time, but I just kind of turned off the stove, for lack of a better word, Mike, sorry, and let it sit for about 10 minutes so they could just cook with residual heat. Now, we're going to add in one not chicken bouillon. Also, y'all from Walmart, y'all need to sponsor your girl. Um, adding in the chicken bouillon and one cup of water and kind of let that dissolve, stir, 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 dissolve, and stir, 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 so we can just really punch up this flavor. Now I'm adding in about a tablespoon of fresh oregano that I had to get from Whole Foods, y'all. Kroger was out, Walmart was out. I had to pay $4 at Whole Foods for this, but it's okay. Now we're adding in some cumin, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. If you're a measurer, that was about a half a tablespoon. Some black pepper, and of course, some salt. Mix, 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 and baby, the rice is done. Taste it, mmm, delish. Now, y'all, this is from the last recipe. Again, this is Puerto Rican beef mixture. I just put it in the freezer and froze it until this video. There you go. I did add some water. So because I added that water, um, I didn't want it to take away too much of the flavor. So I'm going to add in some enhancements as well. We are going to go with Chef Joyous Red House seasoning. Again, if you don't have it, this is not necessary. I just kind of wanted to compensate for the water that was added. If you saw the last video, I did not add her seasoning to it. This was just because I added water to the mixture and I wanted to increase the flavor. Um, but I will put the website to where to get her seasoning from right here on the screen. Now, also to enhance the flavor, and because we got it, let's add a little bit of that sofrito that we got from Walmart on up in there, okay? Let's go ahead and mix, 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 and we're done. Again, this is literally just frozen from the last video, okay? This is good, everybody. That's all I got to say. <laughs> all right, y'all, I'm about to play. OB's already eating, but again, he don't want to be on camera. Now, I will say, he ain't said, but this rice is overcooked. Y'all, my bad. How overcooked minute rice is beyond me, but it happened. What's pigeon peas taste like? How's that? I haven't had it yet. Well, I didn't have pigeon peas before. These are oh, good. okay. But these are good. Everything is great. And then we're going to top with cilantro and scallions, aka green onions. You, you see it? Did you show them how to make that meat? Mm hmm. It's the same meat from the last video. Oh, yeah, that's good. Just frozen. I mean, you know, reheat it or whatever. I just want to let y'all know I fast for this. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I made my little plate here. You know, it ain't fancy, but y'all know me. So I already was tasting this off camera. So I'm not going to lie to y'all. I already know it's good. But I didn't taste it with the onions and the cilantro on top. Okay, I did not taste the garnish. So let me, let me do it all together. Okay. Oh, I do a little bit. Hope it's not on camera. Mmm. 
I love with the cilantro ass. I know some of y'all don't like cilantro. She's a baby to me. The vegan bacon really does something with the rice. Like, y'all, I really don't know what to tell y'all. Have you, do you know how to order that bacon for people who can't find access to it? You know the website? Um, get the fuck out is vegan. <coughs> Family channel, G -S -G -T -F -O. I think they, I we'll put it on the, I put it on the screen right here. This is really good. I'm trying to get like taste of the peas. Very slight flavor, but I like love the texture they add to the rice. Good. This is really good, y'all. You gotta get this bacon though. Like it, it flavors the dish. Let's be clear. It does, it really, it really really does. This is so good. So good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys. We have reached our alcoholic part of the video. Children. Sometimes adults drink things um, that we're not supposed to drink. But we're grown-ups and we have that right to make that decision, okay? So tell mommy and daddy to come into the room and you need to go. Go watch kids YouTube um, and then come back to me on the next episode, okay? You watched the first half, we made the food, now it's time for mommy and daddy to enjoy this half, okay? Did you leave? Alright, bye Timmy. Next time, see you next episode. Alright, all right, y'all ready? Let's get started with making this, this party drink, okay? Let's, come on. We got organic coconut cream. Now this is a 5.4 fluid ounces. I'm going to do two of these. Hey y'all, popping in real quick because you could just use a regular full fat can of coconut milk. I made this the very next day um, <laughs> and it was delicious just with a full fat can of coconut milk instead of using these two small ones. It is very thick, okay? Again, I put this in the fridge on purpose so it can be kind of cold. So we wouldn't have no hot drink. I could not find evaporated coconut milk anyway, y'all. So we're gonna try light coconut milk. I saw another vegan do this, so here we go. Thing in there. Okay. Ooh. We got some condensed coconut milk. This is at Walmart, y'all. So don't go nowhere fancy for this. Condensed sweetened coconut milk is at Walmart in the baking aisle. Baking aisle, not bacon. Baking. Some vanilla extract. This is a little splash. Okay, I'm gonna sprinkle in some nutmeg. Sprinkle in some cinnamon. And we're gonna go ahead and blend. I'm gonna give it a little taste right now. Cause we gotta get some out of here anyway to add in the alcohol. I know I have regular coconut milk back here, y'all, but if we don't need it, I'm not gonna use it. Ooh, that's so good already to me. It don't take much to please me, though. Mmm. Wow, wow, that, that sweetens in this milk. It's sweetened, okay? I do not have a big cup to pour this in, y'all, so excuse me as I use some Tupperware. Don't judge me, or you can. So now that I have some room in my blender, I'm gonna fill this up with some Don Q, which is Puerto Rican rum. People have also used Bacardi as well. So we're gonna open this up, first time having it. Um, if you're a measurer, I'm gonna say this is two cups, okay? Half the bottle. There you go. I'm down to the Q. <laughs> Oh, it's a party. Actually, y'all, and I was watching several videos where it was a split between hit up alcohol and get the party started. This is really good. I'm gonna let OB taste it. Let's see what he thinks. Um, but it's really good. I think we can add the whole bottle with with the mixture that we took out. I I, I think. I ain't gonna do it though. But I think we could. Ain't it good? Then go ahead and top that off. Okay. Let me give them fancy. I also got some cinnamon sticks, you know, to be fancy, bam. Plus, I'm pretty sure if you mix it, ooh, mix the cinnamon stick with the uh, coquito. So let me hook him all the way up with his styrofoam cup. Come on, on. Yeah, hook me up, bartender. You know, so I'm gonna stick the cinnamon stick in here. This is not my fancy cup, though. Hold on. And then, boom. And then I'm hitting with the sprinkle on top. Oh, you want to do this? Go ahead, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got to hit with the cinnamon sprinkle on top. Give some nutmeg, two nutmeg, get you. On the top? Okay. I cannot. Boom. 
Oh, y'all, I feel it. Okay, I lied. I feel the alcohol. <laughs> You're good with half the bottle. But again, we still have that leftover cream that we did not use before. So you, viewer discretion is advised, all right? Now let's turn it back to my cup and let's make it cute. It tastes like eggnog? Yeah, they say it's also known as Puerto Rican eggnog. This is still a family channel, so I didn't do any drinking on camera besides my little taste test, but y'all have got to make this. It is delicious. Really, you can just need to do it with three ingredients, depending on how authentic you want to be. Full fat can of coconut milk, condensed milk, and the light coconut milk. That's it. Vanilla extract, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Delicioso. Guys, I'm here with a special guest. Her name is Molly. Ah! And she's going to try the, how do we say you say it? Ares Kong. Today we'll be making arroz con gandules. We don't know. We forgot. <laughs> we just looked it up and we forgot again what we call it. All right, you're going to try it? Well, you already tried it. She's a child. She's gonna tell y'all the truth. She been eating it. I just pulled out the camera. She already likes it. So I just wanted to show y'all that she likes it. Is it too hot still? Yeah. It's still too hot? No. uh -huh. Let me see. <laughs> this ain't hot. <laughs> you can eat it. Okay. <laughs> it's still too hot? I didn't think so. Yeah, I'm not gonna call her. She like it. Bye. <laughs> As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time. Peace.